welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to introduce a new se series, Welcome to High School. And in this series, we are going to be handling the first six topics you will ever see in your GSS 1. So today's topic will be on development of numbers and numerals. So our main focus will be on Roman number system, the place value system, and finally, the application of counting, reading, and writing large numbers to everyday life situation. So kindly sit down, fasten your seatbelt, and let's go on an exciting journey. All right, for the first part, we have the Roman number system. And the Roman number system, there are seven basic symbols you need to understand. The first one is I, which is for one. The next one is V, which is for five. Then X, which is for 10. L for 50, C for 100, D for 500, and M for 1000. All right, there are other things you need to understand. In a situation whereby you see a lesser Roman numeral appearing before the bigger one, it means you need to subtract. Now, for instance, now we have, if you have X, C, since X is lesser and X is 10, and C is 100, it therefore means we have 100, minus 10. So xc is equals to 90. What is the situation whereby we have i x? Since i is 1, x is 10. So 10 minus 1 equals to 9. All right, with this, let's go to our example 1. All right, for example 1, write the following numbers in Roman numerals. All right, the first one we have six, two, five. Let me show you a simple trick. You can actually get this. Now, don't forget that 600 will give me a combination of D, which is 500, and C, which is 100. So it therefore means that D, the 500 plus C, we have 600 will give me D, C. All right, for this is 25. So we have X as 10. So double of this will give us xx, which is 20. So it therefore means that for 20, I have xx. And the last one is v, which is 5. So v, so 5 will give me v. So it therefore means that 6 to 5 will give me v, c, x, x, v. The next one, we have 8, 4, 9, 849. So to get 800, we have that D is 500. Then C in three places will give me 300. So for 800, we have D, which is 500. D, 500 plus C, C, C. So 500 plus 300 gives me 800. So DCC is 800. Then for 40, don't forget that 50 is L, then X is 10. So 50 minus 10 gives me 40. So this for 40 to give us XL. So 40 is equals to XL. And for 9, don't forget, I is for 1, and X is for 10. So 10 minus 1 gives me 9. So for 9 will be IX. So 9 is equals to IX. So for 849, this will be D, C, 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 X. L I X. All right, the next one we have 1004. 1004. So don't forget that in our basic symbols we have 1000 to be M. So this is M. Then 4, 15 5 is V and 1 is I. So we have V minus I. So this will be I, V. So I, so for four, we have I, V. So 1004 will give me M, I, V. Then the last one, I have 2011. 2011. Or, sorry. 2011. So in this case now, we have 2000 first. So 2000. Don't forget that 1000 is M. So the, for 2000, it will be MM. So this is M, M for 2000. Then this is 11. So 
11 will be x plus i. That means x i gives me 11. 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 will give me x i. So 2011 will give me mm x i. I hope you understood the first example. Now the second example, what numbers do these human numerals represent? All right, and look at this now. We have the first one as X and L. Don't forget that when a lesser number comes before the bigger one, we have a subtra subtraction there. So XL will give me, L is 50. So 50 minus 10 gives me 40. So in that case now we have XL to be 40. All right, next one is V. V is 5. V is 5. And the last one is I. So I is 1. So if you add all these together, that for me is that XL, VI, give me 40 plus 5 plus 1, which is 46. And the next one we have X, C, I, X. In this case now, x comes before the c, which is, c is bigger than x. So this will be 100 minus, so xc is 100 minus 10, which is 90. Then ix, we know is 9. So in this case now, this will give us, xcix will give me 90 plus 9, which is 99. In the next one, we have m, m c m l i v don't forget that we have m m so one for m is 1000 so 2m will give me 2000 so m m is 2000 then for c m now 100 which is c comes before the m which is bigger so it therefore means that we are going to have 1000 minus 100 so that will give me c m being 1000 minus 100, which is 900. Now the next one, we have L. L is 50. So L, 50. L is 50. Then IV, IV gives me 4. So IV is equal to 4. So we are going to add this together. Sorry, this is 900. Now, next one we are having is 2000 plus 900 plus 50 plus 4. This will give me 2,954. And the last one, we have MMM, which is 1,000 times 3. That means 1,000 in places gives me 3,000. So MMM is 3,000. Then DC. Now D is 500, C is 100. So 500 plus 100 is 600. So DC is 600. All right, the last part says I. So I is one. So if you add this together, you have 3,601 for MMMDCI. All right, the next one, we are going to go to the place value system. Now, before we go to example three, let me make you understand some certain things now. For instance, we have a number like 1876.234. Now, for the first, we have unit, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Now, this one, the first one, immediately after this small point is tenth. Next one is hundred. And the last one is thousand. Now look at this now. So it therefore means that first one here is thousand. This value here is hundred. Here is ten. This is unit. The six is unit. Now in this case now, it therefore means that the two will be ten. Now the three becomes hundred as 100 with th, now from 4 gives us 1,000. 
All right, so the difference between this is that this one has TH, this one has TH at the end, thousand also has what? TH at the end. All right, now let's go to example three. It says, what is the place value and value of the digits five in the following numerals? And the first one we have A, six, five, two, zero, zero, nine. Now, the place value of five is what we are looking for now. So for five, our focus will be on this number. So we have this as unit, tens, hundred, thousand, this is tenth of thousand. It therefore means that the place value of this five is what? Tenth of thousand. Tenth of thousand. Now, the value of the five will be five. How many zeros? You take these numbers as zeros. One, two, three, four. Five, zero, zero, zero. So this will give me 50,000 for five. Now, the next one is B says 6.521. So the place value of 5, just like we have here, is 10. So the place value of the 5 here is 10. All right. So now, this, for instance, now we have what is the place value and the value of the digits. Now, the value of the 5 here will be 1 over 10. Sorry, since it is 5, we use 5. So this will give me 0 0.5. Alright, next one we have 989753. So the place value of 5, in this case, since this is unit, this is 10. So this will give me 10. So in this case now, this will be is 5, 5 and 0. So we have 50. So the value is 50 in this case. Alright, I won't do the next example. So you can actually do this and drop your answer in the comment section. Let's go to example number 4. Alright, for example 4, write each of the following in words. 7800635. All right, the first thing you have to do in this situation is that you count after four place values, one, two, three, you put a comma, one, two, three, put. Now, in this case now, the number we have there is seven, eight, zero, zero, six, three, five. So, place value of this is unit, tens, hundred, thousand, tens of thousand, hundreds of thousand, and this is million. In this case now, this will be 7,800,685. So we have 7,800,600 and 35. All right, so the next one we have 5294220620. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So in this case now, we have the place value, unit, tens, hundred, thousand, tens of thousand, hundreds of thousand. We have million. 10 million. Now, so in this case now, this is 52. So we have 52 million 942 and 42 42 thousand now, 206, 206. So this is 52,942,206. All right, 
the next example is example five. So we have to write each of the following in figures. Five million, six hundred thousand, seven hundred and eighty. So now, let's have, let's just let this value like this. Million, hundred, hundred thousand, tens of thousand. So we also have 103, 100 tens and units. All right, for number five, we have 5 million, 600,000, 780. So 5 million, which is 5 million, 600,000. So let's go to 600,000, 780. So seven, eight, zero. So this will give me five, six, zero, zero, seven, eight, zero, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is five million six hundred thousand seven hundred and eighty. And the next one says fifty-three trillion. Now let's go to the next one. Fifty-three trillion. So this will give me fifty-three trillion eight hundred and nine thousand or thousand. 809,000 and the last part says and 15 so 15 we have 1, 5 therefore means that every other part we are going to add zeros we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 this will give me 53 billion 809,015 so this will give me 5, 3 Zero 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 eight zero nine zero one five. So what we have here is fifty three trillion eight hundred and nine thousand and fifteen. All right. Finally, for question six, the nation's debt stood at six point four nine trillion dollars. Write the underlying amount in full digits and also in words all right so in the question we have that the nation's debt stood at 6.49 trillion all right so we can write that as 6 plus 0 0.49 trillion all right so it therefore means that we have 0 0.49 trillion to be 490 billion. All right, so the next one we have 6.49 trillion as a whole. This would be the 6 billion plus the 490 Sorry, the 6 trillion plus the 490 billion. So this will be 6 billion 490 million. All right, the last question says that we should underline, they should write the underlying amount in words. So in this case, now we have 6 trillion 400 and 90 billion the so 6 trillion 490 billion wow we've come to the end of our lesson today i hope you learned a lot can you like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting mathematics videos to those